Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and welcome to a new series called YouTube Gear. It's all about gear for YouTube. So one of the most common questions that I get personally, besides like what phone should I get or what tablet should I get, is I wanna start making videos, what type of gear should I look to to get on camera and start making my own. So I've had a series in the past that actually helped people to kind of sort of get started with making a YouTube channel, but this whole series idea is to be able to feature awesome gear and show cool, quality, versatile stuff that will actually help you make content. Now, it's not all about the gear. That's an important thing to note. It's obviously content first. The stuff you make videos about is really what matters, and that's the whole reason to start a YouTube channel. But having quality, versatile, Working gear is actually something that's surprisingly important, and I'm a gearhead anyway, so it kind of plays to the ability to show off cool tech and things like that. So content first, but if you have gear that'll help you out, that works too. All right, so this is the first piece of gear that I am featuring uh, in this playlist or series. If you don't know what it is, it might look a little bit weird. This is a microphone. It has its own desktop stand. This is called the Blue Yeti Pro. Now that it's around Black Friday, you'll see microphones and stuff from Blue and a bunch of others going from way lower prices. I saw this guy, this Blackout Edition, uh, for somewhere around 100 bucks, which is way less than what I paid for it a while ago. And this is also sort of like a YouTube classic microphone. I was using this microphone full time like three, four, even five years ago. It showed up in videos. I think I made an entire video all about it. I think it was the silver version. But yeah, this thing is tried and true, and I feel like it's about time I recommend it. So this is what it looks like. If you haven't seen a microphone like this before, like I said, it has a built-in stand. It articulates to face your mouth exactly, and it's got a whole bunch of features that make it a little bit different from a normal mic, and that's why it costs more. So underneath this cover here, it's not just one microphone. There are three different microphones facing a bunch of different directions, and it's covered here, and there's a switch on the back that you can see that'll allow you to switch between a bunch of different recording patterns for different uses. So there's stereo mode, there's omnidirectional mode, nice good quality switch to switch between them, a cardioid mode, and a bi-directional. Cardioid mode will just pick up what's directly in front of the microphone. So if I'm just talking to it, I'm making a video, and I wanna just record my own voice, it'll cancel what's behind the mic and just pick me up. I'll give a sound quality test in a second. But if you're doing an interview or something and there was someone on the other side of the microphone, you could use this mic as well, pick up the voice on the other side, your own voice, but cancel out the sides. So you can see how it can be a little bit more versatile than just one mic capsule. Around the front is a physical mute switch, so if you wanna mute yourself, that's neat. And then a headphone volume knob, which is because this microphone has a headphone jack at the bottom, latency-free monitoring of your own audio. So this is the USB mic. I'm gonna plug it into this Surface Book here. It lights up, this mute button lights up, so that's pretty cool. I have Audacity on this machine. I use Audacity, which is a free piece of software, and I've used it for like seven years. I don't use Adobe Audition or anything fancy. Audacity just lets me pick the input source, pick the quality level, and then record audio. And that's all I need to do. So right now, right now you should be listening to the quality of the Yeti Pro. And I can actually switch the gain if I wanted to change the gain, gain up or gain down. It seems like the volume is about right. And you can obviously now tell the difference between the mic I've been using, which is a shotgun microphone right up here made by Sennheiser, and this Yeti Pro. It's pretty clean. I mean, compared to what you could get in a microphone for a hundred bucks or 120 bucks like five years ago, this is a lot better sounding than something you could get for that price. This is also in the cardioid pattern. It would sound different if I put it in like bi-directional. can switch it live. Now I'm in bi-directional. So you can hear everything behind the microphone. You probably won't hear things to the sides of it and you can hear my own voice. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna go back to cardioid. I really like the the hard switch. It's quality. It's all made of metal. The whole thing is metal. So there you go, guys. That's the Blue Yeti Pro, and that's YouTube gear number one. Now, if you have any other suggestions for pieces of YouTube gear, whether it's lenses or cameras or microphones or accessories, basically any piece of gear related to making videos, let me know. Get at me, because that's the kind of stuff I want to feature in these future episodes. And also, every single time I do a YouTube gear video, whatever I talk about in the video, I'm going to be giving away. On Twitter, follow me on Twitter at MKBHD, and within like 24 hours of this video going live, there will be a giveaway post where you can pick up this exact microphone that I'm using in this video right here and probably get started on a YouTube channel of your own. So that's been it. YouTube gear is now a thing. Dope tech is now a thing. We're branching out a little bit more. Hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, and if you do, let me know by giving a thumbs up below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.